All right, hello everybody. Um, this is Ryan. I'm going to walk through an example problem for Professor Hallowell's uh, construction engineering course. Uh, we're looking at chapter seven, dozers, and we're looking at the tree felling um, section. If you go ahead and read this problem, um, you can pause it here and then try to work it out. Fast forward to the end for the answer. Uh, if you get mixed up or whatever, stuck somewhere, come back and follow along. Um, it'll help you if you turn to page 200 and 201 in your book, and then we'll go from there. So this is pretty straightforward, just need to be organized and take a look at making sure you are grabbing the right variables. So read the problem carefully, and you shouldn't have any problem, it's pretty straightforward. So the uh, tree felling, um, or I'll call it the cutting time equation, is going to be equal to H, it's hardwood factor, a, B, plus all of these factors, M1, N1, M2, N2, M3, N3, M4, N4, and EF. Okay, so all we need to do really now is find out what all these factors are. So first one is H, so we'll make ourselves a little table up here. H is the hardwood factor. And so you're going to use that number in the problem right there. It's 45%. That's between 25 and 75. If you go to page 201, that means that H is 1.0. All right. Then A. Look for A is also on page 201. It's the tree density. Um, the density in this case is 380. So 380 is less than 400, so it's light, 0 0.7. All right, the rest of these are all going to be coming from table 7.3. Table 7.3, you can see their um, production factors for felling. Um, all you need to look at really is what kind of track do you have. In this case, it's 335 horsepower. Let's go to that um, 335, follow it across, and get all the other values. So B, which is your base time, is 18.22. And then all of these M values, so M1, M2, M3, M4, and also this F. Okay, so just read on across, write those on down. So 0 0.2, 1 point, 1 point 3, 2.2, 6.0, and 1. Okay. Uh, the only things that we haven't really explicitly written down are these in the values, um, and, but those are all given right here. N2, N3, N4, and this is D, the greater than six foot one. Okay, so we have all the variables. We have our equation. It's just plug and chug. So just go ahead and knock all these in there. 1.0, 0 0.7 times 18.22 plus 0 0.2 times 180 <clears throat> plus 1.3 times 60 plus 2.2 times 45 put it down here 6.0 times 30 plus 1.8 times 25 Okay, so the only real thing to be careful of here with this D and F, they're a little bit different units. This one is um, D being the um, sum of diameters of all the trees above six foot, and then F being the minutes per foot of diameter to cut those. But really it's just plug and chug with all of those, and you come out to 451 minutes per acre. Okay, uh, if you do the conversion, um, flip it over and multiply by 60, that comes out to 0 0.13 acres per hour, if that's the kind of units you want to work in. Okay, so the only thing that we need to do now is account for something else that's in the problem, and that is the um, fact that we are going to do the grubbing of roots and stumps in a separate operation, not in one operation. So if you look at the bottom paragraph on page 201, you're going to get that you need to increase it by 50%. So just take this number, 451, multiply 5, and you end up with 677 minutes per acre, or 0 0.09.
acres per hour. Okay, then uh, you know, the second part of this problem is that they wanted the uh, items piled, so we're going to do the piling time. Really no difference. In this case, the equation is basically the same, but there's no hardwood factor because we're not actually cutting through the wood, so the type of wood doesn't matter. So it just starts with B by itself, M1, N1, M2, N2, M3, N3, M4, N4, DF. That's it. So the only tricky part that you could have here is that you're looking at the piling time production factors for piling and windrows is table 7.4 which is on page 202 okay so using that table make sure you get everything straight here um, we have our new B is 44.94 our new M's 2M3 M4 and F and we're going to write all those down, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 1.8, 3.6, and 0 0.9. And that's it. Just use the right table and you're golden. So 44.94 plus 0 0.1 times 180. Of course, the number of trees is still the same, so we're still going to use these guys up here. 0 0.5 times 60. 1.8 times 45, 3.6 times 30, 0 0.9 times 25. So go ahead and do the math on that one. Plug that sucker in, you get about 304.4 minutes per acre, or 0 0.2 acres per hour. All right, so there's your two separate times. That one's for piling. That one's for cutting and for grubbing the stumps. If you wanted to get like your total, just add them together. Um, if you wanted to get total for the two separate activities and punching those in, you get about 981 minutes per acre. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So any questions, go ahead and contact the professor or myself. Thanks.